What's up guys, this is Merc Music and welcome to a quad fee with every gun in Black Ops Cold War. As usual, this video is going to feature a quad fee with every primary and secondary weapon in the game, with some exceptions, but we'll get into that later. Now even though there's only roughly 30 guns in Black Ops Cold War, this was one of the more difficult games to actually get all of the quad feeds in. The slower time to kill in the game coupled with the kill feed moving really quickly makes it really difficult to actually pull off quad feeds, so if someone even just gets a regular quad feed, it's actually a pretty good clip. And thankfully I had some help from Karina with completing the project, but unfortunately we couldn't make some of these quad feeds happen but you'll see why later in this video but for now we're going to start off the quad feed with every gun video with the assault rifle starting with the xm4 this was in some hardcore domination on garrison and man this was such a great start oh my god oh Nice. That was sick. I want to keep going though. And even though we're moving on to the AK-47, we're going to be staying on Hardcore Dom on Garrison because Hardcore Domination, as you guys know, is one of the best game modes for hitting quad feeds. I mean, this is a prime example. Yes, that's what I'm talking about, boy. Fuck campers. Take that shit, bitch. Woo! Now we're moving on to the Sigma. There's a quad. Just kidding. Of course, that's not going to happen. But here's a quad feed, a split quad feed with the Krig 6. But uh, I wasn't able to actually get a clean one. We got to call in the cheek clapper for that one. Oh, I clapped those cheeks. <laughs> Alright, well, ah! ah! Whoa! Hell yeah! That's what I'm talking about! Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going! I did not! <laughs> no, I'm talking about keep getting the feeds, keep getting the feeds! You know your boy's hype for going for the feeds when someone is already dead, but you want them to keep going. But yeah, even though this is one of the Call of Duty games where it's a little bit more difficult to actually hit the quad feeds, it was a much better challenge for that reason, and I had a lot of fun going for the clips. It made all of those moments going for the clips that much more tense because you had to be a lot faster. Oh! Split one! And keep in mind when watching this video that I don't have most of the attachments unlocked for a lot of the guns, and the weapon leveling is pretty slow, and this is a very attachment heavy game, so sometimes I'll be getting a quad feed with barely any ammo left in the gun. Oh, I got it! But that's gonna do it for the assault rifles. Now we're moving on to the SMG, starting with the MP5. I actually got this in the beta, and this was my first ever quad feed, and I was freaking out. Oh, I got quad feed! Quad feed! I did it! Oh, yay! Woo! I'm talking about and I think the big reason I was freaking out so much when hitting the mp5 quad feed is because it was in core And it was in the beta and it was a lot harder to actually pull off the quad feeds because you were very limited in your game modes with you know in the full game You could play hardcore domination and hit quad feeds relatively easily I mean, it's still pretty hard to actually pull off especially when you're trying to kill people from this range Talk about boy quad feed. But there's just something about pulling off these quad feeds in core in the beta before the game is even fully released That makes them so unique Someone's trying to do the glitch on their team. Oh my fucking god. Oh, quad feed! Ooh, nice. Oh my god, hell yeah! But yeah, the MP5 and KSP45 quad feeds that were hitting like the beta in core 12v12, those are the only quad feeds I got during the beta. And you guys may or may not know this from previous quad feed with every gun videos, but in previous Call of Duty games, whenever they release like a brand new Call of Duty game and they have oh, alphas feed. or betas, more often than not, I'm actually able to hit almost all of the quad feeds with all of the guns in the beta. I think it might have specifically been the quad feed with every gun for COD World War II because I remember that being one of the fastest projects to complete, and that's because it was so easy to hit quad feeds in the beta. But my best advice now for hitting quad feeds in Black Ops Cold War is just play Nuketown. Oh, nice. What? <laughs> <laughs> but again, just to reiterate my point about what game modes and what maps are the best to hit quad feeds on for Black Ops Cold War, I would definitely recommend Hardcore Domination as your game mode, and you can definitely go for Nuketown or the Strike maps, like Crossroads or Armada. Try to go for those modes, and you might almost get a kill chain like I did right here. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, that was... Hardcore Dom the best. But now we're moving on to the Tactical Rifles, starting with the Type 63. Now, this did require a little bit of a different approach, because the Tactical Rifles are not quite as fast as SMGs and Assault Rifles on Nuketown. And even though people will still snipe you with SMGs on satellite, it is still a great map to actually use tactical rifles. Let's go. Ooh. I'm talking about it's already done. I think the main reason TAC rifles work so well on satellite is because it's a bigger map, but it's also a much more open map. So you can find people out in the open like this and hit feeds. Oh my god, I got it! M16's done. Woo! But unfortunately, guys, the org is one of the weakest guns in the game, so Karina had to hit the cold feed. Oh, let's split! I'm going! Nice! Let's go! Now that was just my perspective of the quad feed, but we went back into theatre mode, and we were watching a professional org user hit a quad feed. This is some high-level gameplay, so I hope you guys really enjoyed. Make sure to smoke the like button for this one. Oh, let's split! I'm going, I'm going. Oh! Nice! Let's go! I don't know why that British dude gets so close to the microphone, but this is the last attack rifle right here. We have the DMR-14. It's very similar to the Type 63, and again, hardcore Dom on satellite, easy quad feed. But now we're moving on to the LMGs, starting with the Stoner 63, and my god, the LMGs are like the saddest weapons in the game to me. Actually, oh wait, hold up, there it is. 
There it is. Oh, nice. Treyarch made the light machine guns in this game dinosaurs. It is so frustrating. Like, not even, like, cool dinosaurs. Just, like, really obese dinosaurs that are just so slow and worthless. Thankfully, Karina has some kind of strange addiction to the RPD with a sniper scope on it. I mean, I really barely use the LMGs at all, and I'm just really glad that I was able to hit some of them really quickly and hardcore, but she was actually able to hit some of the clean quaffies with it. Oh my god, on go, on go. Oh! Nice! Oh Good shit, you got it! And if cheesing people out of spawn in 12v12 wasn't enough, she also got one on hardcore domination on Nuketown, cheesing people out of spawn again. <laughs> Ooh! Uh, RPD quad, let's go! Nice. Is that going in the video? It is, and unfortunately this M60 quad feed's going in the video. I mean, I was basically just kind of camping here, sniping people out of spawn with it, because the M60 is straight garbage. But now we get to see some actual good sniping from the sniper rifles in the game, starting with the Pelican. Now, just so you guys are aware, all of the quad feeds that hit with the sniper rifles were post-nerf. And I'm not just talking about one nerf, I'm talking about like the three or four sniper nerfs that happened. Oh my god! Did I, did I get anything on screen? And since the snipers in Cold War have been nerfed so often, I had to have the mentality of just trying to kill as many people as I could as fast as I could. Oh! Oh! I got it! Oh my god, I split Yay. you. It's okay, it's okay. You. I don't care. I don't care. It was a five man. I'll take it. So yeah, specifically when it comes to hitting clips with sniper rifles, I recommend trying to snipe aggressively in regular Nuketown, not playing hardcore for this one. Oh my god! I think it was rolling! I think I already got it! And last and definitely least, we have the M82. The worst sniper rifle in Call of Duty history, possibly the worst gun in Black Ops Cold War. Now, unlike the other sniper rifles in the game, I was doing some hardcore Nuketown 24-7 to try to hit the quad feed, and this was ultimately my best attempt. I was just trying to kill as many people as fast as I could, but in the end, I ended up getting split because someone team killed their teammate while I was going for the last kill. Was it split? But that's gonna do it for the sniper rifles. Now we're moving on to the pistols, starting with the M1911. And the pistols were actually a lot of fun to use in hardcore domination. I mean, they're actually really good. Oh, got it. Nice. It lags, but I got a five man. And if one quad feed with the 1911 wasn't enough, here's a five man feed on Newtown where I'm basically like using it like a sniper trying to quick scope with it. Oh, but the next pistol on the list is the Magnum and it's my favorite pistol in the game. It just hits so hard and it's really strong, especially in hardcore, obviously. And this quad feed I hit with the Magnum was actually the first quad feed I hit with it. The accuracy was pretty terrible, but I ended up using it a lot more and I ended up hitting more clips with it. You might remember these upcoming clips with the Magnum if you watch the Akimbo Magnums are overpowered video. And if you haven't tried out the Magnum already, you might want to start using it. Oh! That was nasty! I think what makes the Magnum my favorite pistol in the game is that it's not only good in hardcore, but you can also use it in core as well, and you can use it akimbo, and you'll be able to do well. Oh! Quaffy with the akimbos! Let's go! And lastly, for the pistols, we have the Diamati. This is the three-round burst pistol, and I really struggled using this pistol when it came to playing hardcore domination on, like, Crossroad Strike. It was probably the map that I had the most amount of opportunities with prior to Nuketown actually being out. I mean... As you can see, I, there's split quad feeds, they're on screen, but it's not exactly what I wanted to go for. I wanted to hit a clean one, and when it came to Nuketown, I found out that the Diamati has an incredible hip fire. So, for most of these kills, I wasn't even really aiming until the end. Oh! It's on screen! Oh, I'm still going! Ooh, oh, no! What? I didn't mean to kill you, I'm sorry! But now we're moving on to the shotgun, starting with the Hauer 77, and I mean, this isn't really the quad feed you guys want to see. I mean, I, I guess it's decent. We get a collat at the end, too. Oh shit, what the fuck? No! Dude, that was sick! But if you want to hit a real quad feed with the Howard 77, you need to spawn behind the enemies and get extremely lucky. What the? Oh! I hit a shotgun triple! Oh my god! Oh my god, I hit a shotgun triple! But yeah, I really do hope you guys enjoyed the shotgun triple. I mean, that was absolutely insane, and I'm so glad I was able to throw it into this video because that clip was just so disgusting. And speaking of disgusting things, we have our last shotgun here, which is the Gallo SA-12, better known as the Spaz-12, and also known as Brecci number 524. Oh! No more! No, I wanted more! Oh my god, that was awesome, thank you! But unfortunately, guys, we have now entered the depressing section of the video, which is the quad feeds with the launchers and the specials. It's obviously disappointing news to drop on you guys that I don't have any actual quad feeds with any of the launchers or the China Lake or the Thumper, whatever you want to call it. As I'm sure you guys know by now, the current meta in Black Ops Cold War is to run Flak Jacket because it got buffed and it became extremely overpowered because explosives are basically useless against people using Flak Jacket. Basically, everyone who's playing Cold War right now is using Flak Jacket and it makes it impossible to actually 
actually hit clips with launchers. The only possible way you could hit a quad feed with launchers is if you play against god tier idiot bots like these actual bots in the game. So here's what I'm doing for the time being. The quad feeds with the launchers and the M79 that are in this video are obviously fake, but if Flak Jacket ever gets nerfed or if the launchers ever get buffed to the point where it actually becomes realistic to go for a quad feed with these weapons, I will have links in the description of this video to clips that I eventually hit with those guns. So if you're curious to see if or when I ever hit the quad feeds with the launchers or the M79, just come back to this video and check the description to see if those quad feeds are updated. I really do apologize for not having those quad feeds in this video. I hate that feeling of letting you guys down, but I'm also not going to wait a couple months to release the video just because Treyarch has the game tweaked a certain way. But with that being said, guys, thankfully I was able to hit something with our last weapon for quad feed with every gun, which is the combat knife. And even though this quad feed is a split quad feed, it was so lucky to pull off because the enemy team was completely distracted trying to take down one of our kill streaks and it just was so easy to actually kill all four of them oh my god i got it i got it oh my god <laughs> Woo! it's split but i'll take it motherfucker Woo! so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the quad with the combat knife now we're gonna be finishing things up here with a bonus clip it's literally just one clip sometimes i have a bunch but this is all i got i'm sorry oh <laughs> holy shit let's go but that's gonna do it for this video thank you guys very much for watching i really do hope you guys enjoyed the quad feed with every gun in black ops cold war i would greatly appreciate it if you could take the time to like this video and share it with anyone who you think might enjoy watching it the quad feed with every gun projects for call of duty takes so much time so much effort and for this game specifically it was very hard when it comes to skipping hitting quad feeds for guns for a project like this i absolutely hate doing it and i really do hope that treyarch reconsiders rebalancing flak jacket or the launchers in the game because with the current meta of black ops cold war the only way you can actually do that is if you get insanely lucky there's basically no skill involved with getting a launcher quad feed in the game it just boils down to luck and opportunity but i'm going to cut my ranting short thank you guys very much for watching this video big thanks to karina for helping me with this video and thanks to me for not going insane trying to hit the launcher quad feeds again if you guys did enjoy this video and you want to see some more quad feed with every gun videos make sure to drop a like and i'll see you guys later i don't need it i don't need it i don't i don't i don't need a dime <laughs>